Okay, now it looks like he's got this place. Oh! Oh! Really, Jim? Really? All right, he's got these sound aggressive. That is a big fish. That is a ginormous fish, actually. Hang on. Oh, you're coming over here? Perfect. What was it? A 3.1? A 3.1? Hello? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, the face. Oh, that's terrifying. He wants to eat me so bad. Okay. Bro, look at the size of that fish. I want you as a pet, but I reckon I could actually tame you and ride you in the ocean. God damn, that's terrifying. That's cool, though. I know that's going to be gone at some point. I want to keep that alive as long as possible, though. <laughs> a 3.1 fish? Bro, if we had shadow mains, that'd be amazing. All right, anyways, we are doing the monkey boss today. Hey, finally. So we're going to be doing this with just a kangaroo and some shotguns. So I have prepped everything up. I've gotten all the stuff and things I think we need. I've tested this out. I've done this successfully three out of three times. But this is the, this is where the, it comes down to the crunch. Because if we mess up here, we could lose all of our shotguns, all of our armor. We could lose the kangaroo. And that's going to really, really suck. So hopefully I could do this four out of four times. So essentially what we do is we use the kangaroo to jump up onto a ledge in the boss arena. And then you can just shoot the shotgun down from there. The monkey can't really hit you. You may have to dodge some of the rocks every now and then. But it's really pretty simple. Um, we're doing the gamma because I want to do all the bosses in gamma first and then we'll move up to the alpha. I'm probably going to skip the beta stage, but I just want to get like the initial easy ones done to get the trophies and then yeah, we can move up to the hard ones. But uh, what I've done, uh, we've got our shotgun with the 355 and the 322. These are the ones we found in drops. I did manage to make up the damage 300. That's our spare shotgun. I've made over a thousand bullets. Because we have the chemistry bench, which is amazing. Uh, gets gunpowder very, very fast. I could have made more, but I decided this was probably enough. Uh, we've got the curry, which keeps us warm. We've got some waters. I've got a steak. I've got medical brews. We've got food. I feel like that's everything we need to do. I just need to go and grab the artifacts. And then I feel like we're ready to head out. I've also got some other stuff to do with the boys um, after this boss fight. Uh, I want to go and pay them all a very quick visit. Uh, so we need the brute. Cool. Uh, I, have to, I forgot we have to take it off here. Put it here. Put it into there like that. Brute. The pack. And then we need to go and get the devourer. Which I forget where I put that. Are you the devourer? You are the devourer. Perfect. Is that the right one? Yeah, because then that's in here. I think that that's the right ones. We'll find that out. But uh, yeah, I want to pay all the boys a visit. Because um, remember the dodos we left them? Since that killed one, the other two, as far as I know, have kept theirs alive. So what we're going to do, we're going to do something with that. I've also got to pay Evo a visit because um, what I found out last when we did his whole task thing, um, this is all his. Remember, I was confused about where I got my paint from. This is his chibi. Th this is all his paint. So we need to go and give that back. And also, we've got to go over there and give him a prize for keeping the dodos alive. So we'll do that and maybe some other stuff and things. But apart from that, I think we're ready to go. I'm very nervous and scared. Uh, last episode, we crashed, what, two, three times? Which is very scary because if we do that in a boss arena, we're just, we're dead. The game can just kick us out. So yeah, that's uh, terrifying. Are we going to fall in the water here? Can we maybe not do that? Maybe fall on that rock. Okay, cool. Close enough. Uh, we're headed to the red obelisk, by the way. Uh, we have the same way you could do the bosses at any obelisk. I believe, like, official and stuff, you have to go to the certain obelisk, right? So, like, red's dragon, blue's the monkey, and green's the broodmother. But screw that. We'll just do it our way. So we're just going to jump and hop our way over there, and then I'm going to get very nervous. Uh, we, I can't do any, like server backup saves and stuff like that because it's not just me playing so it is literally we get one shot of this we've got to hope the server and the game and the internet all hold out for this i'm i'm very nervous the more i think about this the more nervous i get because we could lose a bunch of good stuff and here is the obelisk boys there's all the mega fariums still just chilling there Okay, I am a wee bit nervous for this. I wish there was a save. I just want to save. Okay, so we're going to boom, boom, boom. That means we can do the gamma, right? 
here we go. Let's do it. So, I guess before we head in, uh, I need you on passive, actually. You on passive, please. Don't be following me or anything. Um, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure you are whacking a like. Make sure you are subscribing. You ring the bell, enable the notifications. You're following all the social medias, all of that good stuff. Get yourself an Axeman hoodie if you need a server. All the links are down below. Use code Axeman saves us ten percent. Real quick predictions. Who reckons we're going to get this done first try? Who has faith in me? Let me know down below. Okay, you watch your like. Oh, we've just patched it to where you can't bring a kangaroo in anymore. All right, so, like I said, I've done this on single player three times. Let's see if I can do it a fourth, where there's actually some at stake. Uh, hop over to here. And then what we do is we're going to hop over to here. Like so. Space bar to stop us in the air. And this is where I want to be. Okay, so... I should... If he has he summoned the monkeys yet? Okay, just gotta make sure the monkeys don't fall on us. But I think we're all graver. Okay, so I uh, don't want to jump off that way. I don't want to fall down there though. All right. Now this is what we should be doing. I'm just shooting him, and that's it. So we'll throw rockets now and then, but look at that. Can we reload? And it should be that simple all the way through. Now, we're not doing as much damage as I thought we would be doing. That's fine. Okay. Like, I don't even think we need to dodge that, to be fair. Look at the damage already. We've got 20 minutes of this. So he, he's not going to summon any monkeys. Because um, they're already out. As long as you don't kill him, he's not going to summon anymore. But he should just stay there. And we can shotgun him. So I've watched a bunch of videos. There's a couple of like official PvP YouTubers. Uh, Teacher Games uh, is one that I always kind of have a quick look at. Just some shout outs to who I uh, took inspiration of. But they all have like different ways of doing it. Some of them like to come on this spot. You can actually do it over that spot. Um, I think someone even did it down there as well. As long as you're up high, like you're all good pretty much. But look at that damage we've done. So we could actually, like, if we wanted to do this on Alpha, we'd probably have to get, like, me and all the boys and do this together. We could all come up here and just rain down shotguns. And I reckon you'd be able to do it. Especially if it was all four of us. If it was one or two, I don't think we would do enough damage. So we're only doing 85. Reload. I don't think the rock will hit me if I stay there, but I don't trust it. <laughs> All right, so this is our better gun. Uh, I'm not sure why we're doing reduced damage. I'm not sure if that's a, a thing just for the boss. I don't know all the ins and outs and arc like that. But we're three minutes into the fight. And... Oh, I was going to say, like, why is my thing all moving? It's because the stake's gone. All right, eat the second one of them. Health's doing good myself. Yeah, so seven minute, uh, three minutes in and he's what? Getting close to half health or something. Which is crazy. Okay. Yeah, that stake's nice because it doesn't do the recoil. When that recoil kicked in a minute ago, it felt weird, man. Um, start to drug just in case. Just playing it safe. Nice. All right. So what's that? Half health now? We've got 16 minutes left. No, I do. Mm, I was going to say, do I want to try a different shotgun? This is definitely my good one, right? Yeah, 355. Five, just checking. I don't know if I could get a headshot on him. I don't know if that does more damage. Look, we're just shredding him. Now, just imagine if, just say, me and Jim were here. Or me and Sinsac were here. And we're both doing this together. He'd be dead already. Which is mad. <laughs> if you wanted to do this in groups, you definitely can. Or just bring a kangaroo in. A bunch of bullets. Uh, also, can someone count how many bullets I use, roughly? Because I forgot how many I brought in with me. And then you can also kind of like, you know, judge it for yourself. But I'm pretty sure this is going to get a patch at some point, but I want to show it off and use it for now. Because it's somewhat nice and different. Instead of having to bring an army of Rexes in. Because that's the way we'll probably have to do the alpha. It's not as exciting, of course. But it's definitely a way to do it. 
So when he dies, I do believe all the monkeys disappear. So we don't have to worry about them at all. I'm still just... I'm just getting out of the way of that rock just in case it hits me. I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Reload. But yeah, as you can see, like, he's not summoning any monkeys in. Because they're all down there. None of them want to aggro to me. Every time I've done this on single play, he's actually been to my left. He's normally down there, and it's a little harder to hit him. This is kind of the perfect spot. Because I'm not too close to the edge where I feel like I'm going to fall. All my pellets are hitting him, I believe. So yeah, this is just this is just nice. Just good stuff. Right, I'm still, still don't trust it. <laughs> Alright, so we're six minutes in. That's how much health he has left. Do I stand here? No. Still don't trust it. Not going to do it. Don't trust it. So all of you that didn't have faith in me and thought I might mess up, screw you. Because we did it, boys. <laughs> well, we nearly did it. Maybe I'm getting a bit too, uh, too cocky. Server could still blow up. The internet could go out. All right. So maybe, what, three more reloads of this? There's a lot of blood in him. Oh, and very close to the end. And our mistake's going to run out now, which means we're going to have a lot more recoil. Yeah, see that? Ugh, don't like that. Feels weird. All right, dodge that. Yeah, it feels like I'm about to fall off every time I shoot now. All right, it's nearly done. All right, one more reload. Is it worth shooting it down like this? Oh, no. Don't like that. Shoots the edge. And here we go, boys. Look at that. We've got tech gloves uh and also the tech door all right so we've got that so the trophy and everything should be in the supply crate just here but look how easy that was boys that was the easiest boss i've ever done i love that all right what goodies do we get element and a helmet mask not even at any of them it's a trophy wall head thing <laughs> so 40 element uh, gamma. I mean, that's an easy way to farm some element, to be fair. The caves? Apart from the barry, I mean, I suppose that's easy now because we can just grapple up. The water cave's a little difficult. Um, but yeah, to be fair, not too bad. But there we go. Gamma trophy head. We've got the gorilla flag. We unlocked... What did we unlock? Let's go down to the bottom. So we got the tech gloves and I think the tech door and windows. Sick. We're getting there. Nice. All right. Uh, 20 more seconds before we head out. You got one more level. Boom. I still yet to get us a level. We're getting close though, boys. I mean, as we're just chilling here, let's have a look at the uh, boss arena. Looks pretty cool, man. It always has done, to be fair. The thing is with boss arenas is you're so focused on fighting the bosses is that you just don't take it all in, do you? All right. And hopefully everything's all good. We return. We've got me. We've got the kangaroo. Good shit, Peanut. Look at us go. Two bosses down already. I know it's not the alpha ones. We're just doing the gammas first. But still, two bosses down. I think we might even do the gamma overseer. I've never done the overseer. And some of you are going to be shocked with this. Never done it. Always wanted to, but I just never really returned to the island and, like, did a vanilla playthrough. So, that's something to look forward to myself. But, yeah, we'll probably do all the bosses and then maybe do, like, the um, Gamba Overseer. And then we can work our way up to doing all the uh, alpha stuff. And that's where the big army of dinos come in. Sick. All right, Peanut, let's get home. Uh, let's just go drop off all of our stuff. Put the flag up, put the trophy head up, and then we're going to go and pay the boys a visit because uh, I've got some little stuff and things for all of them. All right, first things first then. Let's pop the gorilla flag. Where's that? Just inside of here. Where are you trying to go to? I don't want you snapping up there. Just there like so maybe? Oh, yeah. You know what? The gorilla one's very blue. It is very blue. Um, Which one do I prefer? I mean, they both look pretty sick. I think I like the spider one a little better. That does look pretty sick, though, to be fair. Can't wait to see the dragon one. That's going to be cool. All right, next up, we need to make us a head trophy mount. Uh, where do we make that? I always forget. Do we make that on our person? Yeah, we do. What do we need? Uh, wooden cement and paste. All right, let's go and grab that, because I've also got to go and put this element away 
anyways. So are we the first one to get element on this server and the first one to do the first two bosses? I feel like we are. I feel like that means we deserve extra praise, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so we've got 60 element all together. Is that right? We only get 20 from the broodmother. That sucks. Um, all right, so we need... How much wood did we need for this? 200 and some cement in pace, which we have just a whole bunch in there. All right. Trophy. So we'll go and put this in our house as well. Some of you really didn't like that I put the broodmother one in the uh, in the shed. I mean, I understand because we won't see it as much. And this does look way better here. But I don't know. I thought it looks all right. <laughs> Maybe it just really didn't. Um, all right. Do we want this? here. I don't really want it next to it. Um, or do we have it like just there? Or do I want it downstairs? We could have it right there. Is that going to look weird? Let's see. I do like them higher up, but maybe for now we keep it there. Because I do think that looks good and the T-Rex looks good. Mm, I don't think it would fit there. Hmm. Maybe if I make this a little taller at some point, we can move it. But for now, I think we'll stick it just there. God, that looks cool. Look at his different color eyes. Well, I don't think he actually has an eyeball there, right? Damn. There we go. So, monkey down. You down. So, what I will do in spare time, I'll redo all of them caves. Get all the artifacts again. Uh, I like to do that anyway, just to get some um, more, like, loot drops. Uh, I am actually thinking. Cove... We could obviously go to that cave and use Cove and do that. We can use the Basilo to do the other water cave. The other uh, Kano Island cave, though? Oh, I really don't want to have to breed up another Barry. Because Cove's so special. Hmm. And you don't fit in there. Even though apparently you do if we break some rocks. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it and see. All right. So, that's that done. Um, actually, I want to keep you open. So... As I said, Syntac killed the dodo I was holding him not to. He, I watched the video, people tagged me, or not tagged me, like told me. I watched the video, he literally just walked up and shot it in his face for no reason. Didn't even think about it. So, what I'm going to do for him is we're now going to breed up two more dodos. And we'll give him two dodos to say, please don't kill. And every time he kills them, I'm going to double it. Don't tell him that's what's happening. But that is what's happening. So we're going to just keep doubling it until he stops killing them. Evo and Jim, however, they do get a prize um, because they kept it alive. I'm not sure what prize to give them. Because Evo's already got the Sarko saddle if he succeeds in doing the Dodo trial. Um, what else would Evo like? I mean, I don't really want to give my blueprints away. <laughs> the blueprints are mine. I earned them. Let's see what kind of saddles and weapons we've got. Obviously, I don't want to give a shotgun away either. Um, what have we got that's, like, good? Stone hatchet, a pick. Mm, maybe I could give, like, one shotgun? No, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the saddle is the way to go. Uh, oh, I've got a giga saddle. I'm definitely keeping hold of that. Because I was going to give the galley saddle to Syntax, but he decided to, to kill the dude. We do have maybe a good Daedon saddle. That's not too bad. We've got Equus, Scorpion, Hyenodons, Iguanodons, Tapahara. Has Jim been in the water yet? Because we do have a 190 Dolphin saddle. I might give him that. I might give him that. Um, what should we give Evo? What do you think he would like? So we've got Packy Rhinos, Terror Birds. I think he's past all that. Dunkley? I'm never going to tame a Dunkley, you know. Should we give him that? I don't really have too much to offer. <laughs> um, I think that's probably as good as it's going to get, boys. So we'll give that to Jim and Evo can have the Dunkley saddle. I don't, I don't rate Dunkley, so yeah, that's not a thing. All right, so what we need to do is we need to get us or hatch us up a couple more dodos to drop at Syntax Base. He doesn't get any prizes until he stops killing them. So let's grab two of them. I think we'll put some stupid facts in there as well so he can read them as well. So let's drop these out. They should hatch in 26 seconds. And boom, there's one and there's two. 
All right, and you. There we go. All right, you guys just stay there for a hot second. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll come back. Right, let's go. Do I want to... You know what, Peanut? Screw it. I'm going to use you. I know it's probably quicker to fly, but, like, you've done good. Look at him dancing. And to be fair, you're actually a bit faster than um, the RG. Like, the jumping and stuff, I don't know. It, it's very speedy. Right, let's go to Evo's first because I need to give him his chibi back and all of his paint. And then we'll probably grab a note along the way. Unclaim the dodo, maybe? Uh, oh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I, we need the RG because I think I'm going to move the dodos to where they're going to find them. Because, like, Evo's is on the top of the house. So if we use the RG, move them to somewhere where they're going to find them, we'll have it unclaimable with a note saying thanks for not killing me here's a little reward yeah, yeah let's do that instead all right peanut you know what you've just fought a boss you can stay here and have a little relaxing time how about that and i see the dodo here still look at that look at evo like protecting it i knew evo would i'm surprised by jim unless i've missed it or he let it starve i'm surprised good shit he never got to read the note um i'm gonna keep the note in uh, so you get the Dunkley. Um, all right, let me pick you up. We also need to make another note, which is like thatch and fiber. Right, so I should be able to just pop down here real quick. So I'm going to leave the dodo there. I'm going to chuck all of this pain back in here. And there's his chibi. Perfect. All right, you sit there a minute, dodo. So we need to just go and grab some stuff to make a note. All right, so we're going to craft this. Uh, thank you, Mr. Evo, for not killing me. Here is your reward. There we go. And now we can have that. Um, do He's not going to starve, right? You'll be fine until Evo logs on later. Uh, let's do... You're on passive. And then let's unclaim you. Hopefully nothing eats you. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. Perfect. So, yeah. Nice. Alright, let's go and find Jim then. Hopefully he doesn't have anything that's going to attack us. I feel like Jim's so paranoid. He's probably got everything on aggressive. Uh, we'll see what happens though. <laughs> Oh, Jim's also been very busy building his base. Look at this whole lighthouse section thing. He's also got, like, some stables down there now. God damn. Okay. Now, is the dodo still here? Um, I should... It is. That is surprising. All right, I'm going to land. Is everything on passive? Or, you know, at least not aggressive. I think so. I am so shocked that he didn't kill the dodo. That is so surprising. Okay. We still good? Nice. All right. What are you looking like, dodo? Good stuff. All right. Let's pop that into you. Let's get you a note. And thank you, Mr. Jim Bob, for not killing, killing me. Here is your reward. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Perfect. And then chuck that one into you. And then unclaim. Actually, wait. Let me pick you up. I need to put you like right in front of the house so he like has to look at it. Uh, options. Unclaim. And boom. Why do I hear like a fire in this house? Jim? Is everything okay? Is there a fire going on in there? Are there any doors and stuff I can I can get in to steal any of his clothing? Or has he got it locked up pretty tight? This is cool, though. Mosh chops and maestros. Oh, there's his, um... There's his, uh, what are they called? Penguins? I nearly called them dolphins. Uh, okay, now it looks like he's got this place. Oh! Oh! Really, Jim? Really? All right, he's got these set on aggressive. Okay, I thought as much. <laughs> All right, Jim has aggressive plant species. Good to know. Uh, where was that one from? Is that from his boat? I don't even know where that one was from. Where did that shoot me from? Oh, that one down there. All right. Oh. Oh, he's also built more up here. 
Let's just have a quick little ganders at that, and then we'll head back and finish off with Syntax little thing. Uh, so that was his original house. He's got like a little, I don't know, dino storage maybe. Sick. And then whatever this is. Nice. I like the style, Jim. I like the wood and the thatch. Uh, this door's open. Does that mean I can get in? Is there going to be anything even in here? I'm going to be attacked by anything, am I? Jim, you got any um, shoes? No. Uh, have a have a meat. You got anything I can take? No. Got any charcoal? Nice. Stole his charcoal. <laughs> All right. Let's head back then. Let's get them dodos. I need to find two more random stupid facts for Syntax, and then uh, we'll finish up. I'm not going to say the dodos are dead, but apparently there was no berries left in the food trough, so... <laughs> gotta hatch some more ones all right uh, let me get these hatched up i'll make sure they have food on them this time and then and I, I suppose as i'm doing that i can uh go look for some stupid facts all right let me get everything ready and i'll bring you back in a hot second all right take two and we're back so we have our two facts so here we go on average 100 people choke to death on a ballpoint pen every year that doesn't surprise me at all to be fair i thought it'd be higher um Oh, didn't mean to pick you up. Go back down there. I meant to press F on you. And the next one is, on average, a human being will spend up to two weeks kissing in their lifetime. I don't know. Is that... Doesn't seem that long either. But there's two random facts. So what we're going to do, again, change name. Please don't kill me. Let's see if he listens this time. Because if he doesn't, there's going to be four of them next time. And we'll keep going until they last longer than... A couple days. Uh, oh, I didn't do the please. You gotta, gotta use your manners. Please don't kill me. All right. And then inside of them has the notes and the berries. Okay, cool. All right, dodos, come over here. We're going places. I'll carry one, and then Pidgeotto can carry the other. Perfect. I kind of hope he kills them because it'll be funny to have to bring four next time, and then eight, and then sixteen. <laughs> It just keeps going. The downside to this is, since I can be record different, like, scheduling, so it's likely that he's going to kill these before this video even comes out, depending on how aggressive he feels like being on that day. Because a lot of the times he'll record in the morning, release it by the afternoon. I like to record at least a day in advance, just in case, you know, some internet issues happen. There's always a video out for everyone, so... That's how come sometimes, like, timing seem a little different. So I think we'll go for the exact same location as we did last time, which is going to be just here. Uh, we'll also make sure they're on passive. So we go passive. Um, all right, yeah, let's have it. Let's have them both just here. Not, like, in the way of the smithy, but, like, close to. Um... Can you face the same way so you're, like, next to your brother? There we are. So they're both on passive. Not following. They both say, please don't kill me. And they both have the notes in them. Cool. All right. Um, I could look for Syntax body, but I can't be bothered. You might be smart and start locking it away. God, that Rex is so beautiful. So jealous of his Rex, man. God damn. Oh, we've got signs down here. What are these saying? snails all right there's a little teaser he's gonna get snails soon <laughs> so just to finish off there's one last thing that i completely forgot to show off that i've just randomly remembered now so we got attacked uh i think it was i can't remember when it was it was a couple days ago now um but we got attacked by an alpha raptor he came from this side and he killed a bunch of mosh chops uh, he tore through... I mean, I think he actually got inside here because everything's all crazy there, but he tore through here and just kept munching, 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 kept going through, munch, 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 and then I think the raptors ended up killing him. But yeah, I need to repair my farm, uh, get some more mosh chops. I mean, we've got eggs for days. Not like it's going to be a big problem. Like, we've got so many eggs. But eventually they will spoil. But yeah, he destroyed my plant species. He broke through the side of the stables. Um, yeah, that happened. That was a thing. So I guess, you know, F in chat for all the mosh chops lost. I think we lost like three of them. Um, and yeah, the, the 
kibble farm raptors plus a couple of the plant species managed to kill it in the end i think even the anki got involved <sighs> anyways right so we can actually wrap it up and call it a day there so the gamma mega pifkas taken care of thank you to peanut the kangaroo and all my shotguns let's go and have a look at the head statue thing we need oh also shut the door axe don't know who's going to come in there we go the big statue head looks really neat so now what we need to do is focus on the next three caves and working towards doing the dragon boss now for the dragon boss i'm not sure what i'm going to do has to be a herbivore dino probably verizinos but we'll see kind of just what happens um but anyways there we are then oh i need to be outside there's not enough light there there we go if you did enjoy today's episode make sure you do whack a like make sure you subscribe you ring the bell never notifications uh make sure you grab an axeman hoodie if you want one if you need an arc surfer use the link down below use code axeman save those 10 percent thank you very much for hanging out mini x anything to say 21 inspiring stuff thank you very much <laughs> all right see you later bye